The Power Five is back, only this time with less hair. NFL Week 2, I've got two live underdogs for you, a total, a teaser, and by request, a survivor pick for you today. Remember, this show is on a very strong 70, 42, and 4 overall run after Friday. Smash that like button if you've been enjoying all these free winners here on Wager Talk TV. You can always comment down below, remember, with any questions or thoughts on my selections here for Sunday. Number one, Tennessee Titans plus three and a half versus the New York Jets. Probably don't need to tell you. Betting the Titans at any number last week ended up as a brutal beat. They didn't allow a single offensive touchdown against the Bears, yet blew a double-digit lead and lose 24-17. to But I think it's worth coming back with Tennessee now as a home dog against the Jets team playing on a short week. Guys, are we sure Aaron Rodgers is any good anymore? He has not thrown for 300 yards in a game since December of 2021. Only threw for 167 in the opener and was missing throws. Now, the Jets were expected to be a playoff team this season, so we got to be careful about overreacting. But in the 32-19 loss to the 49ers, what happened to that vaunted defense for Gang Green? And should we be concerned that quarterback Sauce Gardner had to sit out a drive? Uh, quote, catching his breath, according to head coach Robert Sala? Well, Gardner better have caught his breath for week two because the Jets' other starting corner, Reed, did not practice on Friday. He's questionable. Two linemen up front banged up as well for the Jets. This is a defense that at one point allowed eight consecutive scoring drives to the 49ers. I think this number's on the wrong side of three. So take the points with Tennessee. Oh, by the way, teams that had 25 minutes or less of time of possession in week one are eight and 23 straight up and six and 25 ATS the last 10 years in week two. That applies to the Jets. Number two, how about a total for you early in the 1 p.m. time slot? The aforementioned 49ers are in Minnesota this week to face the Vikings, and I see this being a low-scoring affair. As I just detailed, 49ers did have a ton of offensive success against what was thought to be an elite Jets defense, okay? But still no Christian McCafferty, and I don't see them scoring nearly as many points here in Week 2. Brian Flores has a great defense in Minnesota, one that's going to look to blitz the hell out of Brock Purdy. On the flip side... Sam Darnold, eh, is he going to look as good as he did against the op- in the opener against the pitiful Giants? I don't think so. No Jordan Addison to throw to either. These teams met last year here in Minnesota and combined for only 39 points. We've got full TD of wiggle room from that number here. So under 46 and a half, 49ers Vikings. Number three, hold your news. Is it held? Panthers plus five versus the Chargers. Guys, I am so sorry for speaking those words to you. Just have to do it. Did you know in the last 20 years, NFL teams off a loss of 35 or more points and our underdogs of at least four points have gone 50, 18, and two ATS. That is the Panthers and that is the complete handicap here. We're just buying low off a pitiful performance. There is nothing I can po- say positive about the Panthers. Just think Harbaugh and the Chargers get a bit too much love here. They were losing at home. Uh, to the Raiders, after all, at the half, and only led 9-7 after three quarters. So we'll take the points with the home dog there. Hold your nose. All right, number four, how about a teaser for NFL Week 2? This is a client play that you're getting for free here on the Power 5. We're going to tease the Browns up to plus 9 and the Broncos up to plus 8.5. As long as you're able to tease through 3 and 7, doesn't matter if these numbers move a little bit. But with the Browns, Week 1 was probably rock bottom. I, You would think it is. But remember, they were up against a very good Cowboys team, I don't think the Jaguars, even at home, can blow Cleveland out. The Browns' defense actually allowed just 4.4 yards per play against the Cowboys. Then you look at teasing Denver up to 8.5. It's a good idea. Why? Because the team they're facing, Pittsburgh, has one win by more than eight points since the start of last season. The Steelers did not even score an offensive touchdown in Week 1. They kicked six field goals to beat Atlanta 18-10. to That doesn't sound like a recipe for success. Backup quarterback Justin Fields still expected to go as well. Broncos should, at the very worst, keep this to a one-possession game at home. Guys, I'm going to get to the survivor play in just a minute. But first, don't forget about that great special offer still going on at wagertalk.com. You get all of my NFL and college football for the next four weeks for only $199. That is obviously less than $50 per week. What a deal. Uh, We all know it's been a blazing start for yours truly in college football. Seven and three now, 70% after my best bet winner Friday on Kansas State. But it's also, it also was a winning week one in the NFL for me. I've got three NFL bets currently up, including that teaser I just gave you. You won't want to miss my top two sides. One of them rated a 4% best bet. If you're not ready to commit long-term, 
That's okay. Sunday's entire card is available for just $29. All right, we're going to close out the Power 5 with a Survivor pick. You asked for this down in the comments section. I will oblige. This will not count towards the record in the Power 5, full transparency. But you guys want to know Survivor picks, what I think? Here you go. Take the Lions in Week 2. They're at home against Tampa Bay, obviously. The Bucks really beat up on the defensive side of the ball, and I just don't trust Baker Mayfield long-term, despite how he looked in Week 1. Three defensive backs are out here for Tampa. That's the real concern. Uh, seems problematic going against this Lions offense. Guys, I bet the Bucs under 7.5 wins this season, and thus it stands to reason I would expect them to lose a game like this where they're 7.5 point road underdogs. Uh, Detroit's a good teaser option too, but they would be my top choice for Survivor. If you're in something where Thanksgiving counts as a separate week, then maybe look to the Ravens if, if that's uh, something you do, if you've got the 20 weeks. But again, the Lions would be my top choice for Week 2 Survivor. All right, real quick recap of the Power 5 here in case you forgot anything. Number 1, Titans plus 3.5 versus the Jets. Number 2, 49ers Vikings under 46.5. Number 3, Panthers plus 5 versus the Chargers. That is disgusting. Number 4, Teaser, Browns up to plus 9. Broncos up to plus 8.5. And, and then my Survivor pick, number 5, is the Lions. Feel free to let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Always appreciate the feedback here on the Power 5. And once again, do not forget to head on over to wt.buzz slash bp to take advantage of that special offer I mentioned earlier. And you want to subscribe to the Wage Talk YouTube channel if you already haven't done that. Uh, of course, not only do I do the Power 5 daily, but can't forget about the morning wager. Me and Mark Zinno, every Monday through Friday, Mark will be back in the saddle after being on assignment all week protecting our country on Monday. I look forward to that greatly. So that is going to do it now for the NFL Week 2 edition of the Power 5. Smash that like button if you already haven't done so. Come on, guys. Giving you a lot of free content here. And until next time, let's cash some tickets.